All right. So, how did everyone enjoy last week's hit week? Good. Kind of different, right? Yeah. I like it. Good. Okay. So, we got the heart rates up. We kind of talked about the benefits of hit, right? It's good for um, things like weight loss, heart rate under control, um, blood pressure by challenging the heart rate to go up and spike, and then it brings it down um, pretty quickly and then forcing it to go back up again. So um, high intensity interval training is what that stands for, H-I-I-T. Um, but today we're gonna do a little bit of, diff today's different, a different week. So we did HIT last week and this week is actually mindfulness. So um, tell me, does anybody know anything regarding mindfulness? Yes. Yeah, what do you know? Yeah. Well, I have, through my insurance, through my health insurance, they have a therapist that would call me. This is before the pandemic. And I had two therapists. One was a therapist and one was a mind that would do mindfulness with me. And she would go through the whole, from the top of your head all the way to your toes and exercising and relaxing. And it's just very nice. That's awesome. Who was that, Ms. Esther? Yes. Yes, I think I see Ms. Linda too raising her hand. You have something you know about it too? Well, I've, I've studied, gone to several meditation classes and meditation retreats, retreats and mindfulness meditation is a, a form of Buddhist meditation. So yes. I've gone to, you know, I, on Sundays I go to a meditation class that still goes on. So it's something that I can't say that I'm a major practitioner, but I've known about it and done it for years. It's interesting how when you do that, when you do mindful meditation or my, pretty much anything you do it mindfully, how relaxed and aware you become of your entire body. Right. Um, in, the, in the past couple of weeks, whenever we found out that we were going to be doing these, um, I went on my Fitbit app and they actually have some mindfulness sessions on there. So I would sit in my office with my headphones in and I was sitting really quietly. <laughs> And I was going through this mindfulness meditation and I came out of it and I was like having to reorient myself to my surroundings. You, you do, you go into like this, this trance of relaxation. Um, so we're actually going to try something like that later at the end of class. Um, so we're going to have one less exercise uh, section, but we're going to do a little mindfulness section. But I wanted to go over before we get started a couple things. Um, about mindfulness that I want to focus on during the exercise portion. Okay, so just bear with me for a couple minutes. We're gonna go through this. Um, I promise it won't be <laughs> super boring. <laughs> All right, so there's a, there's a couple of different ways that you can practice mindfulness daily. Okay, so it doesn't have to just be in a, in a um, structured class. Um, one of the ways that you can do it is mindful eating. So has anybody tried mindful eating? No. Yeah, I see, I'm seeing more hands than I expected. That's awesome. So it's mindful eating is really when you take your time when you're eating and you really try to savor each bite of food. Um, one way that people do that, that they usually um, kind of tricks your brain into thinking you're a little more full. You never take another bite until you swallow the bite that you've already taken. Does that make sense? Yeah. I know some people kind of, I'm, I'm like that with french fries. Like I'll take one fry and then I quickly put another one in one at a time and very, very slowly. And it helps you appreciate the food and how it tastes and the textures and things like that. So um, that's one way you can do it. Um, but when you're doing that, you want to think about, like you said, your, the taste, the texture, um, and also how it feels as it travels down to your stomach. Like you can feel that, especially if you're eating something like, um, like soup. You can feel the warmth of it going through your system and down into your into your stomach. Um, I'm standing too close and Felix is fixing my camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, there, that's one of the ways that you can pr practice mindfulness in your you know day to day. Um, another one is mindful moving, walking, and running. So if you're a person you like to go outside, you like to walk around. Um, one way to do that um, is with a mindfulness standpoint. So what I mean by that is when you're walking, you're focusing on how it feels when your heel hits the ground, how it feels when the, the um, arch of your foot flattens onto the pavement, how it feels coming up onto the ball of the foot and how it feels transitioning to the next, the next foot, right? So it's all about this movement and being aware of what these movements feel like. 
Um, so that's another way you can think about, you know, the way your core is engaged, the way your shoulders feel when you walk, the way your arms swing, all these things are, are good ways to be kind of aware of your body. So that's one way for, for um, practicing mindfulness during movement. And we're going to do it today. <laughs> and then another one is um, body scan. So that's something we're actually going to try today at the end of class. This is where you draw attention to your body in different areas. So um, I think Ms. Uh, Esther said that she kind of works your way up to down, right? So you start with your head, you relax the forehead, and you work your way all the way down to your toes. And it kind of brings awareness to how your body is feeling. Um, so that's something you can do while you're sitting, you know, on your couch in between television shows. Um, <laughs> when the microwave's going, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but you can, you can find a time to make that your um, mindfulness and body scan time. And then another one, which I think is my favorite one, to be honest, even as an exercise person, I think this is my favorite. Um, mindful, color, mindful coloring and drawing. So this one I thought was interesting and I actually, you know, I tried it because we were going to be talking about it. It's when you feel how the pen flows over paper and how you're responding to that feeling. It's like a fine motor skill that you're, you're kind of reacting to. So it's just another way you can test it out and see how it goes. It's a, a way to be mindful of your surroundings and how you're feeling and be able to control your heart rate and things like that. So, um, on that note, I guess we'll get started, but we're gonna do the physical one today. So we're gonna try, we're gonna be mindful of how everything's going when we're um, exercising, okay? See, it wasn't too boring. You guys made it through that part, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So we are gonna start with our warm up. So I'd like everybody to stand up. No equipment, we're just gonna get our bodies moving. I have Felix back in the studio today, so that's exciting. <laughs> All right, so standing nice and tall, no equipment, we're reaching up overhead. When you're doing this, I want you to feel how your feet feel. Be aware of how your feet feel. Make sure you're nice and balanced. Bring yourself down. Feel the pressure into the floor, the bend of the knee, the extension of the shoulders. Be really mindful today. <laughs> All right, let's lean to the side. Good. Back to center. We're going to go to the other side. When you do this, feel the rib cage stretch. Feel them stretch on this side. You want to feel it. Be very aware of it. Good. Back to center. Let's do that one more time, a little bit quicker. Center. And other side. Back up, arms down. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a calf raise and our front shoulder raise. So what that looks like is we're gonna come up onto our toes. We're gonna feel that rolling onto our toes. We're gonna raise our arms up and then we're gonna come back down all in one movement. So we're going up and down. And remember, we're feeling that roll from the ankle onto the uh, arch of the foot and then up to the ball of the foot, we're feeling it. Something else that you can pay attention to is how your uh, toes actually respond to you um, going up onto the balls of your feet. You can feel how they kind of like bear down and they try to keep your balance. So that's something else you can focus on. All right, our next move, we're gonna be in our Strength position, we're gonna have our hands out to our sides, up by our shoulders. From here, we're gonna press forward and we're gonna knee raise at the same time. So we're bringing the hands back, press, good, just like that. And we're repeating that. Remember, we're just warming up. We're in that four and five range of our RPE scale. And remember, if at any point in time while you're exercising, if you feel any pain, discomfort, tingling, anything that's not normal with uh, exercise, I'd like you to take a seat and we will check on you, okay? All right, the next move, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our side lunge. So what I'd like you to do 
take one step out, we're gonna bend, we're gonna kind of bend our knee at an angle going out towards the wall, and then we're gonna come back up. Then we're gonna switch directions. So lateral, up, and switch. We're sticking our butt out, almost like we're trying to make ourselves flat, right? Sticking our butt back. Good. All right, standing nice and tall. We are gonna extend our hands out to our side and we're gonna try to do what I'm pointing to call a seesaw. So we're going up, keeping our hands in line, right? They're staying in one line, using our muscles. So I want you to focus on with this exercise, I want you to make your spine feel very, very tall. You have a nice long spine. And every time you stand up, it gets a little bit longer. So every time you come up to here, it's a little bit longer. All right, let's bring those arms in. We're gonna do a half jack. So nice and easy, heel to the ground, arms coming up. Good. Now I want you to focus on your heart rate right now. I want you to think about how your heart feels in your chest. Is it beating hard? Is it beating, you know, at a normal, you know, just slightly above your resting rate? Just really feel it. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is pelvic tilt. So I think we talked about this last time. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to tuck your pelvis under and then extend it back. And I'm gonna, I hopefully you guys can see, <laughs> see mine. So forward, tucking under, and then back. Kind of like if a cat is scared or a dog is scared, they kind of tuck their tail between their back legs. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're tucking and then we're extending. And it's a good thing to be able to dissociate the hips from the spine, right? We want our hip muscles to be able to move independently from our back muscles. All right, wonderful job. We're gonna to go to our next section. We don't need any equipment. Um, We're just going to jump right in to make sure you're in your standing position. All right, so next move, we're gonna go march in place. Okay, now we're starting to get the heart rate up a little bit higher, right? So we just did our movement warm up, just trying to get everything moving. Now we're gonna try to get into that five and six zone on our RPE scale. So we want the arms pumping, the knees rising a little higher. What I want you to focus on right now is feeling how your core is holding you upright and is rotating as you step, okay? Really focus on that. All right, let's go to our strength position. Feet flat on the floor. We're gonna take our hands, we're gonna punch overhead. So it's alternating. If you can hear the music clearly, try to uh, stay in tempo with the music. Good, and what I want to call attention to, your elbows, feel your elbows. How they're extending and they're bending. Good, now we're gonna take two hands up overhead. High knee with the arms follow through. Good. If you'd like a challenge, let's take it wide. Like you're trying to go diagonal, wonderful. All right, next move. Feet flat on the floor. We're gonna take our abduction out to the side, bringing it back to the center, and then switching. Good, we're gonna pick the pace up a little bit. Good, and we wanna make sure that's coming straight out from the hip, that we're not bringing it out in front, right? We want it straight out to the side. All right, let's go back to march in place. 
You guys remember what we're focusing on? Focusing on our core, how we're feeling it move with our step. Wonderful. All right, feet flat on the floor, hands up. Two punches alternating. Good. All right, next move, we're gonna do the high knee with the follow through. So right in the middle, just to start. Let's take it wide. All right, next move. We're gonna add one. So now we're gonna do a wide squat. We're gonna take our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? We're gonna squat down and come back up. When we squat down, hips go back first, knees bend, and we're coming back up. Remember, the hips tilt, our pelvis tilts back, and we squat down. We did our pelvic tilt mo motion or warm up. It helps a lot with the squat. Make you practice that. All right, back up to center. Alternating hip abduction. So out to the side and switch. Keep that belly nice and tight. And make sure you're breathing. <laughs> no breath holding. All right, we're gonna go back to our march in place. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out through the mouth. Good. We're gonna take those steps wide. Good, arm pumping, wonderful. All right, standing nice and tall. Long spine, right, long spine. Renew America's voice news. Feeling those elbows. Bending and extending. And done. Take those out. How's everybody feeling? Good? Awesome. Okay, so we're going to take our first drink break. Um, go ahead and take a seat. Grab a drink of water. Is there anybody on the call today who is brand new? Like brand, brand new? First time? I don't think so. I, don't think, I think I recognize all the names. I heard some connection before the class. I heard, I think, Esther and Elaine. Did I get it right? You guys knew each other from Bronx? That's good. I'm glad you guys got to see each other. <laughs> all right, we are going to go to our next section. We are going to grab our dumbbells. So please grab a hold of your uh, cans of soup or your dumbbells, whichever you have handy. All right, everyone has their stuff. Everyone's feeling good. All right, we are gonna be in this uh, six to seven zone of our RPE scale, okay? So we're working up, keeping the heart rate up, breathing rate up, blood pressure up, we're getting moving, okay? So we're gonna start, make sure you have a good grip on your uh, hand to sleep or your dumbbells, okay? So we're gonna start with that march in place. So now I want you to focus on during the entire section, okay, I'm not gonna tell you, I want you to focus on how the dumbbells feel in your hands, okay? That's the only thing I want you to be mindful of during this, okay? How the dumbbells feel in your hands. All right. Getting moving, getting the heart rate back up. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our 
cold squat. Okay, you guys remember this from last time. And we're gonna slide side to side, keeping these dumbbells in front of our chest, just slightly below our chin. And remember the arm, I'm sorry, the leg that extends, we are not locking it out, right? We have bend in it. That way we're not doing any damage to our joint. All right, good. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. We're keeping these in front of our body, okay? Keeping it in front of our chest. We're gonna reverse lunge. And when you step back, you're gonna turn to the opposite side and we're gonna twist. And we're gonna come back forward and step up and we're gonna alternate. So the other leg goes back, alternate and come back up. Good, how do those dumbbells feel in your hands? You can feel the texture, you can feel the weight. Maybe your hands are getting sweaty. You're feeling that. Maybe your hands are cold. Figure out how they feel. All right, next one. We're gonna do arm or squat three ways, okay? So the first one, we have our hands in front and we're gonna squat down. Then we're gonna cross them over our chest and we're gonna squat. And then we're gonna drop them low. And we're gonna squat, keeping our eyes up, good. Same thing, so in front and squat. Cross the body and low. Do one more round of that. In front, squat, cross the body and low. All right, next move. Tricep kick back with a toe tap. So what that looks like. If we're going back, we're tapping behind, bending the elbows, and extending. And those elbows are nice and tight to your rib cage. You shouldn't see any, any space. They're nice and tight. Good. All right, next move, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a standing oblique slide. So, hands are down by our sides, sliding side to side. And here's your check-in, how do those dumbbells, Kansas soup feel? If you have canned goods, can you feel the paper? Can you feel the metal? All right, let's go back to March in place. Back to March in place, get everything moving. Bring the knees up a little bit higher. Good. All right, back to our squat, right? We're gonna slide side to side. Good. Wonderful, let's come back up. We're gonna go back to our reverse lunge and our twist, back to center and up. All right, back up to center, nice and tall. We're gonna do our arm three ways, right? So we have mountain front, squat, coming up, cross the body, and down, good. And then down. In front, cross the body, and down, and low. Good. Cross the body. And down. All right, let's do our kickback with our toe tap. Wonderful. All right, standing nice and tall. Hands down to our side, oblique crunches.
Really feel that squeeze, just holding on to the dumbbells. And relax, wonderful job. Hang on, so tell me how, oh, we'll do it this way, because I think you guys are muted. All right, who could really feel when they were doing their, um, their mindfulness, they could feel the texture of what they were holding? Yeah, how about the temperature of it, right? If it was something that was cold, um, if it was a little warmer, right? Start to feel your hands sweat, the weight of it. I said if you had canned goods, you could feel the paper. Maybe you could have your dumbbells, you could feel the, the difference between where it was narrow and then it got wider for the, the um, bell part, right? Maybe you could feel that when your fingers. So little things like that, it brings your awareness to one central point. And in this case, it was the dumbbell, okay? And you can do anything with that. You could do a pencil, you could do, um, you guys have your um, silver sneakers balls, if you have a tennis ball. I know people that do it while they read, they feel it in the paper. They can feel, they have mindfulness of how the paper feels. So little things like that, yeah, something for you to try, okay? All right, we're gonna go to the next section. We're gonna grab our towel, okay? Grabbing our towel, staying in our standard position. All right, and again, if you have a band, I will provide modifications. Okay, if you have a band, I will provide modification. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna stand with our feet shoulder width apart. And when we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a march. So when we do this march, I want you to keep your feet a little bit wider. I don't want them white, right in the middle. I want them just a little bit wider. Okay, and then what we're gonna start with is alternating punches. Okay. Now, if you have a band, you know that you're keeping it close to your chest, right? And you're pressing with one hand. Good. All right, next move, we're gonna swing this around to the back. We're gonna swing this behind, right? And what we're gonna do is we are going to hinge at the hip, sticking our butt back, having a little bit of bend in our knee and we're gonna pull away from our glutes, squeezing our shoulder blades as we go. Good, really feel how your shoulder blades are pinching together. Good. All right, let's bring that back around. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a lateral press and we are going to do add a toe tap. So what that looks like, we have a lateral press, and our toe is tapping below. Good. Now this is another tool that you can use for mindfulness. Think about a straight line between your hands and your feet and how you're trying to achieve that. You can feel the texture of your towel or your band, how it rolls. All right, next move, we're gonna do an overhead reach and then a chest press. So what that looks like, you have our hands up by our shoulders, tension on our towel, tension on our band, reaching up overhead, back down to the center, and then pressing in front, bringing it back to the chest and repeat. Good, keep that up, keep that up. Keep going, keep going. All right, the next move, we're gonna do a tricep press, kind of going laterally with a step. So we're gonna step, we have our arms up, step into our tricep press. So we're really, really pushing. We're getting a good push with that external arm, right? Pushing the towel or the band away from the body. All right, next move, we're gonna flip our hands. We're gonna put our palms facing up. So we're holding the band or the towel like this. 
keeping our elbows nice and tight to our sides. You want them glued to your rib cage. We're gonna bicep curl. From here, we're gonna press overhead, extending overhead, palms facing behind you. Bringing it back down to our elbows glued to the rib cage position and then lowering. So we're gonna repeat. So up, extend, good. Remember, we're focusing on good posture too, so make sure your shoulders are back. Nice tight belly. Arms should be getting kind of tired. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna flip our hands the other way. Let's go back to our march. Good, and let's add those punches. Good. Take those out. Take those out. Arms, you feeling tired? How you guys feeling? My arms are very tired. That did it for me. <laughs> All right. So we will go to our next section. Actually, first we're going to get a water break. So go ahead and grab some water. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do our, um, actually our uh, balance stuff. So we're gonna go with some balance exercises, okay? So everyone got a drink of water. We're kind of coming down back on our RPE scale, so we're back down to like our five, six zone, okay? Not quite at cool down. All right, I think everyone's back on their screen, good. All right, so we're going to do our balance stuff. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a one leg hold. So we're going to stand on one leg, okay? We're going to touch forward, okay, with the toe. And then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to touch back with the toe. Now, if you're able to keep your foot up the whole time, great. So you don't have to put it down in the middle. If you do, that's okay as well. Just try to keep as balanced as long as you can. And we're only focusing on one leg right now. Just trying to uh, reorient our balance, right? All right, we're gonna switch sides now. So we're going forward and back. Good. Now, if you have your hands on your hips, on your waist, like I do, I want you to feel your belly muscles. I want you to feel your abs. Feel how they're compressing whenever you do this, how they're, how they're being tense because they're trying to help you regain your balance and maintain it. All right, good. So now we're going to do north, south, east, west. You guys remember this from last week, right? So we're going to go one leg. We're going to go north. We're pointing north. We're going south. We're going east, so out to the side, and then we're going west, which means we're going across the body. Now, if you have your chair and you want to have it close by and you want to grab a hold of it, more than welcome to, okay? So north, south, we're bending that knee. Oop. <laughs> south, east, and west. Okay, let's do that side one more time. North, south, east and west good okay so now we're going to switch sides so we're going to do the same thing north south now this one you're going to go east across the body if you were right leg like me west <laughs> okay north south east west so two more and last one
Good. Okay, next move, we're going to take our hands, we're going to cross our chest just like this. We are going to squat. So the first move is a squat. From here, you're going to come up out of the squat, and you're going to raise the knee. You're going to bring it back down, squat, and then we're going to switch. So we're going back and forth. Good. Wonderful. All right, we're going to try something a little bit different. Let's take our hands out to the side. We're going to do the same move, right? We're doing a squat, and we're bringing the high knee. Squat, high knee. Good. Should be a little bit more challenging. Good. All right, next move, we're going to do a reverse line with the kayak motion without the band or the towel. Okay, so we're stepping back. And our reverse lunge. Arms out in front. Kayak motion, make it really big. Make it really, really big, very dramatic. Good. All right, bring it back up to the center for switch sides. Other foot goes back. Kayak. <laughs> and go. Again, this is very big, very dramatic. Good. This is doing great with this balance one. All right, back up to the top. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a butt kick. So we have our knee pointed down. Reaching back. Now what you're gonna do when you get to the back, you're gonna go in, out, and then back up. You're kind of waving high <laughs> with your foot, okay? So we're going back, in, out, and then back up. Go ahead. I have to turn this way so I can see you guys. <laughs> Remember, that chair is your friend. Use it if you need it. Good. Okay, let's switch sides. Foot goes back. In. Out. Back up. Kind of a take on the uh, north, south, east, west, <laughs> if you will. And then back up. Last one. And then bend that knee. Wonderful job. Get feel an extra balance. <laughs> so this is a good thing for um, mindfulness as well. So when you're doing stuff like this, when you're doing balance stuff, I didn't want to throw too much at you, but um, a good thing to focus on is how your uh, legs and feet feel to the ground, okay? So really focusing on what parts of your body to, uh, tend to respond to you losing your balance. For some of us, the outside of our foot. For others, it's the ball of our foot. Right, knowing those things is very helpful. Um, so it'll help you train those so that way you can be um, better with balance stuff. Okay? All right, so the next section. We're gonna grab our ball or our roll of toilet paper. Okay, and we're gonna combine our um, cool down and our uh, hand-eye coordination section. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of both. So uh, make sure you have mostly, I see a lot of people with balls. Oh, there's some toilet paper. Okay, so sorry, I was just seeing if I was the only one with toilet paper. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get started. So feet shoulder width apart. Remember, only throw it up as high as you're comfortable. You wanna push a little bit to challenge yourself, but you don't have to throw it to the ceiling, okay? <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our cool down. We're gonna reach up overhead. And then we're gonna go down to the other side. One more time, up overhead, switching 
Uh, transferring the ball or the roll of toilet paper in your hand. Good. From here, we're going to toss up and catch. Just nice and easy. One clap. One clap. That's it. Every time you throw it, though, I want you to try to throw it up at least another two inches higher. Right? So at least another two inches higher. And then once you get to the point that you're throwing at your ceiling, you can come back down the ladder. <laughs> All right, the next move that we're gonna do, we have our hands out wide to the side. You're gonna do our seesaw, but we're gonna hold this position. Holding here. And then we're gonna switch. Remember, we're keeping our arms in line with one another. Back up, we're gonna go to the other side. Good. Back up. Good. Back up to our standing position. We're going to go around the head, around the body if you can. And then we're going to challenge you. I'd like you to go around the knees if you can. Okay? So we're going around the head, around the body, around the knees. Now, keep that going. If you have a hard time going around the body, maybe it's shoulder mobility problems, uh, maybe you you're have issues with, uh, maybe you have like a torn uh, rotator cuff, maybe you had a replacement, who knows? If you have a problem going around the body like that, right? Then maybe you can go around the head twice, right? That's usually what I suggest. And then you can go around one leg, okay? It doesn't have to be both legs. It can be one leg. Good. All right, next thing we're gonna do two claps. So throw, two claps and catch. Wonderful. Keep going, keep going. I'm just checking everybody. <laughs> All right, next thing we're gonna do, give our hands out to the side, right? We have nice extension. We're gonna bring it forward. We're gonna roll our shoulders and then open up again nice and smooth, right? Now, when you feel like you got the motion down, I'd like you to go and transfer the toilet paper into the other hand whenever you go to the other side. Good. Getting nice extension of those shoulders. Good, good, good. Okay, so next we're gonna take our toilet paper, we're gonna hold on the back of our hand. You guys remember this one? Back of the hand, and then we're gonna flip and catch. Flip and catch. Now I'm using the flat part of my toilet paper roll right now. You can also use the rolled part, the side that's not flat, okay? With an extra challenge, whatever you prefer. And then let's switch sides. All right, we're gonna put that down. We're gonna take a seat. We're gonna extend one leg out in front. We're gonna hinge at the hips and reach forward towards our toe. Keeping the eyes up. I was talking to you, Tom. I saw your head pop up. <laughs> All right, let's bring that back. We're gonna switch. All right. Let's bring that back. We're gonna press our palms together. We're gonna put a little bit of pressure, right? Using that nice little pulse. And then we're gonna rotate.
Good. Take those out. Wonderful job. Nobody go anywhere yet? You guys aren't done yet? <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do next. So we're going to do the um, quick, like less than five minutes, I promise. Um, it's a little mindfulness session. It's a body scan, okay? Um, so what I'd like you guys to do, um, if you prefer to have the lights out, you're more than welcome to turn the lights out. Um, you can keep your eyes open or closed, whichever you prefer, okay? But I want you to get into a comfortable seated position, okay? I want two feet on the floor. I want your hands relaxed on your either your thigh or the arms of a chair. Um, just in a way that you're comfortable, nice and upright, okay? Shoulders back. All right, and then I'm going to go off camera because I don't want you guys looking at me. I want you guys to be focusing on you. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to read, but I have to read, and then I'll come back on camera, okay? All right. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Hold it in for a moment, and then slowly exhale. Allow any tension melt as you gradually begin to soften your muscles, letting go with each breath. Continue to breathe slowly and gently as you bring awareness to the top of your head. Just sense or imagine a feeling of warmth and softness beginning to spread down from the top of your scalp. Feel the muscles in your forehead and temples relax. Allow your eye muscles to release. Let your cheeks and jaw soften and let go of all tension. Now let this peaceful feeling flow down into your neck. With each breath you take, this relaxing feeling becomes deeper and warmer. It works its way deep into the muscles in your shoulders, soothing them, releasing them. It loosens the muscles in your upper arm, your forearm, your hands, relaxing and soothing all the way to the tips of the fingers. As your body softens, your thoughts seem to become lighter. You're slipping further and further into a dreamlike state of stillness. Now bring your awareness to your chest and your stomach. The peaceful sensation flows throughout this area of the body, soothing every muscle and every organ. Turn your attention to your upper back and feel this softening sensation flow all the way down your spine. As it gradually works its way down your body, feel every muscle in your back let go and unwind. Feel that your entire upper body has become loose, limp, and soft. Sink into this serene sensation. Now feel your hips soften as the peaceful feeling starts to work its way through your lower body. Release the muscles in your buttocks, the back of your thigh, the front of your thighs. Feel all these large, strong muscles grouping 
becomes softer with each passing moment. Soothing feelings flow down through your knees and into your calves. Your ankles let go. Now your feet let go. Allow your entire body to let go completely and allow any remaining tension from anywhere in your body to flow out through the tips of your toes. Feel the deep state of calmness and register it in your mind so you can remember it. Now take a deep breath and as you exhale, bring your attention back to the room, your awareness in the present. You can slowly begin to open your eyes, kind of reorient yourself. Okay, I'm gonna come back on camera now. All right, Tiffany's gonna have you guys on mute. All right. So how's that? <laughs> Everyone's quiet. They're like, we're too relaxed. We can't talk right now. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. You guys liked it? Good. Yeah. It's good. Yes. I also really like the Good. Very good. So what, was, what did you guys think was the most tense part? Like what, what part did you feel was the most tense on your body as we did that? Shoulders. 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 Someone say yeah. jaw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. my, mine's always my jaw. I always clench my teeth and I kind of yeah. press my tongue off the roof of my mouth. So that one always kind of keeps me in check. <laughs> All right. So that is it for class. I do have one announcement before you guys go. Um, so on and you mark your calendar for it. It's on January 19th. Okay. January 19th. We are going to be having a mindfulness workshop, okay, hosted by one of the yoga instructors, actually from Flushing. Her name is Rania. Um, she is going to be hosting the, um, the mindfulness workshop. It's a Zoom link, just like what you guys are used to. So it's not going to be hard for you guys to log in, right? So you just log in using the Zoom link. Um, and then you can take the workshop with our wonderful certified yoga instructor. I'm not a yoga instructor. Uh, yoga instructor, so you're going to see a lot more coming from her, um, but you guys, it's at 6 p.m., okay, so uh, January 19th at 6 p.m., and you guys can register, and you can come talk to her and ask questions that you have about mindfulness, and she'll give you kind of a how-to, like how to do this in your daily life, more than just the little tips that I gave you, okay? All right, anybody have any other questions? You're great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we will see you guys all on Wednesday. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's a Thank pleasure. You. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.